What's up? Where are my JPers at? So Kidoba invited us to become their unofficial employees for one day. I want to make sure everyone knows that I know how to make a real good taco. I'm so nervous. So JP and Julia suit up for the first day at Kidoba. Relate. I know we're late because we spent all this time putting his apron on. <laughs> As you can see, Julia seems a bit nervous. Hopefully she can make it to the end of today. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Hi. Hey. Uh, I'm Julia. Hey, I'm Justin. I'm going to train you guys today. Okay. We're going to do lots of fun stuff, make some good fresh food. But we got to get started. So we got you guys clocked in and we're going to start making some fresh chips. First thing we got to do, we got to wash up. Get some gloves on, get all clean so we can serve some good. Did you hear what he said? Wash our hands. Uh, should we tell Justin I'm not about that life? No, I don't know. <laughs> You're now about that life. I know it's weird that I'm vegetarian, but this turns me on a little bit, okay? There are a lot of things going on right now in the kitchen. Steaks being cooked, avocados are being smashed into guacamole, and we're on chip duty. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna grab a handful of the raw chips there, kind of fill this one up, pour it in, and then you're just gonna kind of stir it up a little bit, make sure they don't stick together, okay? Beautiful. This is kind of easy. This will start to float, get a little color to them. I'm so shuffy. <laughs> Look how clean that oil is, by the way. He said it makes a big difference frying them fresh every single day. Sprinkle a little bit of the kosher salt on there, right? And then I'm gonna show you something that takes a little bit of practice. So I'll do one and then let you try it, okay? But little did Justin know, he was the one that needed more practice. Whoops. There you go. He's a natural. This is perfect on its own. You don't need anything else. So here we've got our fresh whole cilantro. This is a base ingredient. It goes in a lot of our different um, items that we make. Guacamole, pico de gallo, the mango salsa, the corn salsa, our white rice. First you notice I got a little uh, steel cut glove here oh. since we do so much cutting. Is that also made for large hams? It looks <laughs> pretty big. All right. What are you doing? Kind of a little technique here. You got to kind of roll it up. And then you're going to kind of cut this way first. So we'll typically do about 10 times this amount a day. Really? Yep. So that's cilantro. <laughs> I almost feel like George has got her here on that. That way you kind of relieve me for later. This is liberating. <laughs> yeah. I got that one in one hit. I never made pico so quick. Beautiful. I got a little tomato splatter on my arm, but it's okay. I'm going to save that for later. We need one of these things. Yeah, the flower. Justin already told me that the pico de gallo is the base for the mango salsa. I can't wait. I love mangoes. My mom even had a mango tree in her backyard for a while, and we used to make mango jam. That's how much I like mango. So now we got all our fresh ingredients we chopped up here in house. Now it's time to actually make the pico. Diced tomatoes, onions, some cilantro, jalapeno, salt, lime juice going in. So now we're just gonna mix it all up, blend it really nicely. Maybe I could add some ghost peppers in there and freak JP out. <laughs> so how do we turn this into a mango salsa? Great question. So we're gonna put this aside, then we're gonna get everything we need for mango, and we'll just add some pico de gallo into it. So this mango salsa is limited time right now, or? Yeah, usually just a few months during the summer. Depends how fast it goes. It usually goes pretty quickly. That looks like perfectly diced mango. Pico de gallo, cukes. Diced red peppers. Onions. Some cilantro. Gotta have a little bit of salt there. Some jalapenos. We use a spatula, but you know what? Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. You got gloves on, it works. Throw in another one. Just kidding, I don't know how to juggle. <laughs> We're making guacamole, guys. So, Justin, let us know the process. Hold in your hands and kind of just rotate it like that. Then you're just going to peel them. Then we're going to take the seed, just like that. I always thought I had to struggle to peel off the sticker. Cut around it. All right. I only got 100 more of these to go. So next what we're going to do is use the spoon and scoop them out. So you want to get as close into the skin as you can. You don't want to leave anything in there. All right, boss. I'm on it. Joel, you're doing a good job. You know, I'm also doing a good job. <laughs> oh yeah, JP, you're you're doing a good job too. Last avocado's done. We're on to the next step. We had the lime juice now. If you ever made mashed potatoes, it's kind of the same thing. It's gonna take a minute, it's gonna take some work. It's pretty physical. Ooh. All we gotta do is add our other fresh ingredients and we got guacamole. Cilantro, salt, onions down, jalapenos. See there's not too much of any of these things. The avocado is the star. Alright, you wanna mix it all up? Get it really nice and all incorporated in there. Get any fresher than that. There's no words. Now you love yeah. it even more because you made it. It's done. 
Gotta put it on the line. We're gonna get a little bit messy here. I love getting messy. Right, cool. It won't be that bad. So we've got our adobo chicken. We use thigh meat at Qdoba. So we're gonna give these about six or seven minutes. Okay. We're gonna flip them. Beautiful. You can see that adobo's starting to caramelize a little bit, yeah, changes yeah, the flavor, yeah. gives oh, a nice man. color. So about four more minutes. What we're doing, guys, is we're taking the internal temperature. That's why you need to go to the fattest part. Oh, we're good. Done. So the goal is you want to get half inch by half inch cubes, okay? You guys cut it hot right off the grill? Yep. Lots of places use um, white breast meat. Dark meat has way, way more flavor. The flavor comes all the way through. Mm. Doesn't get any fresher than that. Black hot, hot, behind you, hot, hot. Awesome work, guys. So now we got chicken that's ready for all these people waiting in line now. The restaurant just opened. Customers are starting to come in. Are you willing to take on a customer? Well, if Justin can help me out. Yes. I think, I think we can make it work. We're going to do it together. It's my first time entering an order. Yes. Oh, absolutely. One <laughs> second. Sorry, it's my first day. Is that keeping enough? That's beautiful. Black or pinto beans? Black beans. Black. Big heaping scoop, just like the other one. All right, give her a little bit more. We gotta give a, that's all right, dump that one and give her another half scoop there. There we go, gorgeous. Can I get the eat of veggies and then some of the three cheese queso? Oh yeah. Jules, you are generous. Nice and cheesy. Plot twist, this is actually for me. Yeah, definitely want the mango salsa. Thank you for allowing us to kind of record your bowl. It means, a, it means a lot to Anytime. us. All right, so she got a chips and salsa, burrito bowl with steak. All right, so now we'll ask her if she wants a drink or anything else. Uh, would you like a drink or anything else? Yeah, I'll take a drink. Are you a rewards card member? I am. Perfect. So you can go can ahead and I scan. Can I have your card? So the way the rewards program works is you earn points on every dollar you spend at Qdoba. And the more you come, the more you get. We're currently at the champ level, tier 4, which gets us double the amount of points, $2 chips and queso, or 100 bonus points per order, and a free entree on our birthday and anniversary of sign up. The program is 100% free, easy to sign up, and it's really fun. Make sure you register a card or download the app in the Google Play or Apple iTunes store and start earning rewards. Uh, legit, like every customer coming in here knows how to use that rewards program. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Mm. Just make sure it's kind of spread out when you drop it on there. Sure. So just a little bit in every bite. Good choice on the brisket, actually. Yeah. Um, spend so some good. late nights with this. <laughs> There's so much in there. So don't worry. Like I said, this is one of the hardest things to learn at Kido. Rolling the perfect burrito does not come easy. Will you be paying with cash, check, Money ordered. I've got my card, my credit card right here on my app. So, oh, cool. What? You can pay like that? That's awesome. sour cream. And you got your, showed your points right there at the bottom. Perfect. Thank you so much. You did a great job Thank on your you. first I'm day. I'm super nervous though. I'm super nervous. You did great. Right here. Thanks. You are welcome. There's a lot of food. You want a little lady there. Well, I've got a friend coming. Oh, you got a friend coming? You don't have to lie to me if you're eating it all in your own. <laughs> you trained us. How did we do? I think you guys did pretty good for your first day. We did great with the guacamole, the mango, and the pico, all the ingredients that go in there. Chicken grilling was on point. I think maybe we'll work on some burrito wrapping yeah. and get that better. Like I said, that takes some time to learn. But I think overall you guys did great for your first day. You know how I do. I add that guacamole. I add that extra spicy sauce. Yeah, you went right in for the spicy sauce. Did you know that? Uh, I, I forgot. Mm. So, Julia. If you got a chance to work here again, would you? Absolutely. I think being behind that line is just liberating. It's a lot of fun, but it's also very serious. The chicken has to be cooked the right way. Mm -hmm. The guacamole has to be smashed to a specific creaminess. Thank you guys again for coming along. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Hit that bell icon. It'll notify you every single time that we post. What do you guys want to see us make? That's crazy, big, giant, odd. Giant burrito. Giant burrito. Let us know what you guys want to see in the comments, and we'll be sure to be back here again. If we can do a giant burrito, though. That'll be so cool.